right, the pronunciation of the, the consonants. Because if you pronounce them very hardly, it also can affect your voice. So, in fact, that you may end up singing something like this. Which, if you sing this way, the camera right now will not show the real thing because you can still detect something. But if, if that camera will stand uh, somewhere uh, 20 meters from me, you will hear no diction at all. So a lot of opera singers end up having no diction at all. And how to correct it? How to correct it without bringing unnecessary tension in your throat? How to do it crispily, still with a great deal of legato? The great example of this is Maria Pellegrini, a friend of mine, a great uh, Italian-Canadian soprano, who uh, actually, you know, you, must, you can hear, you can write every word she sings. Another example of Mario Lanza, you can write every word he sings. Great diction, without damage to legato. Now, let's go to the practical points of it. I'm going to show you all these uh, uh, passages and then uh, go in detail how you should think of these passages, as I say, rewrite them, write them separately as syllables as if you have vakai, write in a vakai first exercise style all of these pa passages. And you see, it will gonna easy already. Your mind's gonna be more easily singing this, uh, reading uh, those uh, vocally separated consonants and vowels. That is important. Now, about articulation with appoggio. How can we articulate with the poggio? You've heard of the technique of ventriloquism, as that they basically don't even use the mouth and they can speak, right? Don't think it's a, the same technique as we have, but it has something similar to it. Because we are basically using, let's say, You see, I'm not using an energy of a natural speech. It sounds a little funny when I said it. Sounds really weird. But if you put that the same energy with the energy, energy of a poggio, that will be a different story. I'm using the same weird sound that will not take an effect if I'm not using a poggio, of course, an intensive sound. But when I use intensive sound, I sing using this low abdominal force. Like this force, along with appoggio, comes to balance this particular articulation. So, uh, that's why I advise it. Energy and push and emphasis that all come from, from support. They should not come with articulating with your throat. Let's move to another example as Rigoletto's beginning, the first line of uh, Duke's uh, before he sings Questa o Quella. It's called Della Mia Bella in Corino Borghese. And so in this case it's like almost a tongue twister. And uh, how to sing this uh, Verdian tongue twister. So. This is the first line of the Duke. Della mia bella in Corino Borghese, toccare fin della venturia voglio. So it's the third page of uh, Schirmer edition. Let's examine every phrase. Della mia bella! Now, if you think that I'm using a lot of uh, chin in this, you're mistaken. Because energy of this uh, articulation comes really from support. Della mia bella, in bella, della mia bella, in con il borghese, toccare le fin dell'avventura voglio. You see, it's uh, totally under control of the support. If you're less experienced uh, singer, you will probably take it this way. Della mia bella, in con il borghese, toccare le fin dell'avventura voglio. The all energy and trying to, to fix that articulation will be wasted here. It can cut your legato very easily. What I recommend, I recommend crispy diction. I love people who sing with great diction, but at the same time, legato. Diction and legato should be together. So that is the, uh, the question that we're going to move now into the recitativo from, from Celeste Aida, Se quel guerriero fossi. Okay, now, uh, you can waste your easily your energy here on articulation if you don't do it correctly. 
Segue per ieri o fosse se il mio sogno sta per assai. You know, if, if you sing that way, you hear some inconsistency in my voice already going on. Uh, some glottal sounds came out, some uh, mm, nasal sounds came out suddenly. Celeste Aida, please don't try it if you're not advanced level. But at the same time, sequel guerriero, again, what I propose it, what I'm usually uh, using the energy in my mouth is spanned like this. Sequel guerriero, fosse, sembra sogno, tavera. That's exactly the energy spent when you use a poggio articulation, not the mouth articulation. So if you say, sequel guerriero, fosse, sembra, that's all here and incorrect a poggio use. Now, if you do, now, you have a lot of activities going here. There is almost static. Here is a lot of activities. Those activities are taking care of the articulation. So, that is for a podium articulation. Until next time, bye.